Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about quickly attaching a debugger to a running node.js process and being able to debug uh, your code, even from TypeScript, as long as you have that all set up with Webpack. Um, so in this case, uh, we're going to be using the node.js debugger, which should be available in its current iteration from node.js 8 and up, so basically if you've installed one of the later packages, the latest packages, it should work just fine. Um, and we have a Node.js process currently running on port 3000. You can see down here I'm using uh, the serverless framework and then the serverless offline plugin to basically get that code um, to run the same way it would on AWS, Amazon Web Services. So we want to attach to this process and actually be able to debug this code, um, set breakpoints, yada yada. Um, and what we're going to want to do here is, well, you can go over to launch.json if you actually have that, but in Visual Studio Code, you're going to have this icon over here for debug or control shift D. You can come here and add in new configurations. So assuming you don't already have one, you can either click the drop down, go to add configuration, or you can add a comma and then do a control space. And what we want here is to attach the Node.js debugger to a process. So basically what this means, and I already have it up here, obviously, so I don't need to re-add that, is that you just pick one of the Node.js processes that are running, and it's going to attach to that. So pretty simple, you don't even need to specify it for it. And uh, just to show you guys the browser right now, um, let's see, so the local endpoint is port 3000 coupons get, so if I went here, um, in theory, you'd see some stuff, but, you know, I've been messing with the code a lot. So anyway, to attach to that process, which is running, um, we just need to start this debugger. So clicking plus there, because it's uh, attached to a process, we have the command pick process that's going to let us pick the currently running Node.js instance. So serverless offline start is the command I used to start all this code running here. So that's the process we need to attach to. So you just select it, it's going to attach, um, and the debug console, uh, or maybe it's actually in the terminal. Okay, well anyway, and one of those two, the debugger, the terminal, I should say debugger attached. So now I can go uh, reload that endpoint, which is going to you know go into the Lambda function because I'm running AWS Lambda here. Um, and it's going to hit those breakpoints, even in the TypeScript code. Um, of course, in order for all that to work, you got to do Webpack and all that other stuff. But the important thing here is that um, the Node.js debugger got attached to the currently running Node.js process. We barely had to set up a thing. Um, all we needed was basically adding in the configuration, which stores in launch.json to attach the process, pick the process, attach to it, and then we're good to go. So that should really be all there is to it, getting Node.js debugger uh, to work for you guys. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in some of my future video content.